us, important to keep yourself safe when you're going out and about. Yeah. You know, if you're trying to take a hike or something like that, you want to make sure you're good to go. Uh, beautiful, clear skies this morning. This is probably one of the, the best out, Mount Rainier right views we've had in oh, weeks. I know sometimes yeah. we look there and we see maybe just part of it for a little bit and then it just disappears, but a great one it's today. A beautiful day. You know it's going to be a good day. When the morning starts off like this, yeah. you know it's going to be A-OK -okay this afternoon and that is what we're expecting. Get outside, maybe go hike in the mountains, go to the foothills, do so safely. You want to stay hydrated. You want to wear the sunscreen, all those proper precautions. If you're going out near the water, make sure you have a life jacket on you, your kiddos, your pup, but get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather we have on tap. Honestly, today and tomorrow are going to be good days to maybe do some yard work before we really heat on up next week. The mountain is out. Look at that. Just a beautiful shot here in downtown Seattle. Good morning, Seattle. Good morning, Western Washington. A comfortable start to the day. We're checking in at 50 degrees right now in Seattle. It is a touch cooler, though, as we head across Puget Sound. Bremerton, good morning. A lot of folks going to hop on the ferry. Come on to downtown Seattle today for the two matches. We have the OL rain, the Sounders that are playing later on today. 40 in Bremerton, so you probably want that long sleeve as you're stepping outside. 43 in Puyallup. Good morning, Chehalis. 45 degrees, 50 for my friends in Everett there in Snohomish County, Seattle South. Look at that highs, low to mid 70s this afternoon, average high 69. We are well above that here in Seattle, upper 60s to around 70 from Everett. North coastal areas just a touch cooler for my friends going out to the beach. Yeah, going to stay in the upper 50s and lower 60s, but take a look at this. Just to the east of the Cascades, 88 for Wenatchee, 85 there in Ellensburg. We hold on to the nice conditions for our Sunday. A little bit cooler though. You can see today's highs a little bit warmer than what we're going to see tomorrow. We have a weak system moving in. This will just provide a brief cool down tomorrow by two, three degrees. We could see a little bit of cloud cover in the morning, but that will give way to mostly sunny skies by the afternoon. And then we're going to heat on up by next week. There's a big area of high pressure that I'm focused on over the plains. It's actually going to start to build toward the west next week, and this is going to increase our temperatures quite a bit by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So again, the normal high 69. We're up to 79, so 10 degrees above average by Tuesday, about 15 degrees above average on Wednesday, and we hold on to those warm conditions on Thursday. So again, going to be a little bit toasty Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Maybe you consider getting those fans or maybe even the portable AC out for some of those warmer temperatures. An important reminder, not only for next week, but for this weekend as well, with those warm temperatures, it is dry. We are abnormally dry. The yellow shaded area, pretty much the entire King 5 viewing area is running about two to six inches of rainfall below average for the year. So fires could start quickly and spread quickly. You want to make sure that you're playing it safe out there. We need the rain. We don't have any rain in the forecast over the next seven days. We're going to be dry and sunny with again highs running well above average.